Hi Gemini, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your reading for the 28th of September to the 4th of October 2020. And I'm using the Pagan Ways and the Everyday Witch Tarot and I'm also using the Angel Feather and the Queen of the Moon Oracle and the Answer of the Angels. Um, we're going to have two moons in October. Uh, one is on the 1st of October and the other is on the 31st of October. And I hope you've uh, listened to the general readings as I have made the introduction a little bit longer there. And there's loads of new things happening. And I've just had them in. Uh, there will be free giveaways just for you, Gemini and these will be the free giveaways in the autumn and that will be happening most probably only on Charlie's Angel Crowd and the workshops will be starting in January so if you want to stay on top of the information then join me at Charlie's Angel Crowd on Facebook special page it's all private and um, we'll be doing this with the witches with the English witch Georgina and the Dutch witch Wendy okay so thank you very much for being so loyal and liking and subscribing and sharing thank you very much it's very much appreciated and of course also welcome to the new people that have landed on this channel I know I'm a Gemini, I, uh, I don't uh, have any favourites at all and I do not pick the cards, they come out the way they do. And this week is really, or uh, I've done the last six months, uh, like from Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, Aries, Taurus, and now I'm doing Gemini. And a lot of the readings have such positive cards. They've got the Ten of Cups or the Ten of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles like we've got here. <coughs> so it's really a very good energy. We are in the energy of Libra and Libra, have a look at the video there, uh, harmonious and um, the, the, the energy means harmony, harmo harmony and peace. That is what is also coming out. The energy is changing to the positive side. So let's hope that is also to do with the Kovic that it is changing to positivity things opening up again and life coming becoming a little bit more normal after all that is what we all want don't we let's get some more positive energy in there I really feel it okay um, so uh, we've got and um, there's exciting things happening in the witches series especially at the end of October okay so let's get started with your beautiful reading okay first of all we have the wheel of fortune and what goes round comes round what goes up must come down so something is coming to an end you're coming to an end of a phase and you're going into a new phase it's also number 10 so again an ending new beginning you might have been working on the web on the site on the website you might be working on the net um, because you it looks like a spider web and a net you've most probably woven a net and you're starting something new um, also with this particular deck um, that is what uh, works for me uh, this net right so you might have started work uh, on internet um, and you might be starting your own business who knows perhaps you had to get some things clear um, in order to start this business uh, this business it could be your hobby turning into a business the wheel of fortune also means you might be moving home this doesn't have to be a home it could also be that you're moving your business 
to a new location, perhaps downsizing or expanding. I've got more of a feeling that it is expanding than downsizing. Um, I also feel that you are more... Um, people are more focused on you and you are networking you're putting seeds out there or feelers everywhere so it's like the spider so that when the wind blows everything will blow into the web you are getting extensions that is also what I'm feeling I'm doing sign language here and you're not seeing it because I've got the camera down um, I might uh, well, I want you to see the cards, that's why I, um, you can't see me, okay. So you're putting uh, things out there and you're getting recognition, that is also what I'm feeling. You could be going up to the next level in your business, um, like getting more clients, more recognition, but if you are working for somebody, you might be getting a promotion. This could also be in love, uh, moving up to the next level like I said you might be going on moving home you might be moving from a um, from one business to another business because it fits you much better you uh, yeah you 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 feel you've got more money um, that is also a next step up getting more recognition and you might be going on a holiday this is also the karma card for me what goes up must come down what goes round comes round okay and if you've done good you'll get it back threefold if you've done bad you'll get it back threefold if somebody's done that to you good or bad they will get their karma threefold as well back and you've got the three stooges here don't listen to gossip that is what I'm saying and the number three is quite significant at this moment because I'm taping this on the 24th of September and it's only three more months to Christmas Eve Wow and we've like I said we've just gone into autumn and into the fall equinox and um, the May Bon Festival. That is the time of year in the pagan calendar for harvesting. Okay, that said, don't listen to the Three Stooges. But it's three months, Three Stooges. Let's have a look. And you've got the Three of Wands. I didn't even notice that before. Wow. So three is quite significant for you, Gemini. Um, it also means creation. Uh, be creative, stay creative, and um, things are moving onwards and upwards for you. Okay, good luck. You might be meeting a Libra. You might be partnering up with a Libra or working for a Libra um, as you have the justice. If you have judicial issues or situation, then... Um, it will come to an end and justice will be done you will start uh, you will have this new beginning after this is finished you uh, can begin again perhaps you could begin with a Libra perhaps the Libra you've met a new person uh, as you might have got a divorce something is coming to an ending or perhaps an ending with the Libra um, but you are getting what you uh, what is right uh, sorry you will get justice you will get what you deserve okay the balance will be back awesome but on the proper note you you didn't see it coming you didn't perhaps you didn't believe it and you were listening to gossip don't take that blindfold off and look what is around you not what is uh, right in front of you you um, uh, you can get information out of textbooks but perhaps you've learned to go to the justice of the peace or to uh, um, that's the police or an advocate or a judge to ask for advice legal advice perhaps with regards to a job perhaps uh, your job uh, your, your the firm went bust and you had a loss of work well you didn't get your wages now you took them to the justice of the peace or 
municipalities inst or an institution like an advocate, a lawyer, um, a judge and you are getting your wages or redundancy money and you've at the at the same time you've been looking for an other job so the balance is back it is you are richer than uh, you thought you would because you might have not seen the extra money coming in or your redundancy money don't worry karma is here okay so that is one way you could be getting married like I said you might be going taking it up to the next level if you're engaged you might be getting married now because the doors are open of the institutions the registrar office or the church so municipalities and institutions so you might be getting married now and getting your relationship uh, or your partnership registered Boom, nice one. And this always remind this card reminds me of a wedding reception. So that's why I was thinking about a wedding. Okay. And of course the justice of the peace, the officiality, making the partnership official. There will be gatherings with family and friends. You've got the Ten of Cups re reward. Yes, you will be getting your reward again an ending a new beginning ultimately happy as the 10 is the ultimate happiness card you'll be celebrating you're emotionally fulfilled you might be expanding your family you might be expanding your business this could also be registering your business if you are turning a hobby into a business or just starting a business this could be with a Libra then we have the page of Pentacles you will be getting news about money or something that is material tangible and um, has duration uh, for long term so you might get news on an investment um, and that uh, there is a return on your investment Ooh, nice one then we go to the nine of pentacles you've got beautiful cards Gemini even if I say so myself you've got the nine of pentacles and in this deck you have two people instead of just the lady sitting in the gardening garden with the partridge the yeah the partridge that beautiful bird no it is coupled up we've got partners here we've got the husband and a wife or we've got a uh, uh, literally partners so this is um, quite clear you will be gaining more money if you partner up it will certainly um, cut the spending because what you uh, you will do it 50 50 or 60 40 if it's in a business if it's in a marriage it is most probably 50 50 um, so you will be um, saving money perhaps in your own little bank account instead of a joint bank account um, perhaps if you have been married before and you're married uh, you're you're divorced you have learned from the past to have your own bank account so that if uh, there is ever a, an other separation um, you have your own money it won't be used by your other half perhaps that is what um, uh, is something that you uh, might uh, see or have learned from the past perhaps you might uh, you might might want to perhaps you might have wanted um, advice on how to bring in the balance in the re balance in the relationship uh, on the business side of the marriage okay you wanted legal advice you don't want the same thing to happen twice I can understand that and I think your partner does as well as you have found the balance because the scales uh, or, the, or the justice card does mean balance as well that's you want to keep your independency but you want to be together I can understand that better than you think 
you think outside the box and that's what makes you attractive good on you Gem Gem and then you've got the three of ones that is your boats coming in this is the happiness the abundance this could also be money because in the t uh, traditional tarot you see boats coming in and boats were made uh, or used for export and import so perhaps you've gone international on the web you've gone global okay and you're selling your products worldwide like I said you are you've got recognition you're bringing in the big bucks um, and you're absolutely happy and you've done it legally you've legalized everything you've got the papers for the import and export blah 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 and you are making it happen your plans are coming to fruition big time well done that's at the end of the week um, also um, you can be husband and wife but you have also got a partnership in business and perhaps you wanted to keep those separate um, the bank accounts from the private life and the business life so you've legalized that side as well I think most of you if not all of you will have um, thought this through so so through and through and through because the swords stand for wisdom justice clarity uh, communication and I think you've communicated with your partner let's keep the business separate from our uh, love life and I think that is where you are finding your balance because you can communicate with each other especially G uh, Libra and Gemini are air signs so they will use their communi communication uh, talents and they're always their minds are always going 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 and fast you've also got the princess of wands and the princess of wands is the page of wands the page of wands is Sagittarius so you might could be partnering up with a Sagittarius as well and you might be getting news from a Sagittarius but uh, don't forget Aries or Leo as well okay but foremost the princess the page is Sagittarius it's magic so once is action so that could be like a hobby turning into uh, work a career and um, that is perhaps the, m why I said you might be making uh, your hobby your career um, okay and you're very creative you've got that number three again creation the number three does mean creation okay so you've got a three three um, because of the three stooges and the three of ones and now um, you are ready to get started um, this will be uh, quick news okay it's not cyber news it's not the uh, air sign but this news will be shortly uh, this news could come on Saturday even Friday or Saturday and if it is through email it might be coming on Sunday because this is the weekend card then you have also a 3 here 21 1 and 2 is 3 so it's 3 3 3 so that could be significant have a look on in Google or on Google what 333 stands for or 33 you've got two cards lying next to each other you've got the world again the karma card it's got the same meaning more or less as the wheel of fortune as it means uh, buying a home moving home or going on holiday you could be going to a warm sunny country um, also the a karma card if you've done good or bad or somebody else has done good or bad the karma will come back threefold and the justice card is here so justice will be done 
you could even if you're married you might want to start expanding the family as we've got a 9 and a 10 here that means expansion or you might be finding out that you're pregnant you, there could be promotions or if you're not working for somebody else but for yourself there could be more clients coming in you've got the world card like I said you've been working uh, on the net internet and you have got big recognition you are getting known you've put yourself out there boom well done have courage and faith that your money is coming in and your happiness is ultimate courage and faith the mauve angel feather now you can eat drink mauve that's like purple grapes uh, you can wear mauve or you can meditate on mauve and this will help you balance again uh, contemplation meditation evaluation the three okay the angels are present and call upon you to be courageous draw on and trust in your deep faith spiritual beliefs and an and the angels to and to assist you at this time take it from me uh, there are angels or whether with wings or without wings there is something that we call an angel but it is spiritual they are with you also your ancestors now you have pleasure wow and I I drew I drew the cards first and this one was one of the last cards pleasure and it is number 18 <coughs> one and eight becomes a nine so that is an ending new beginnings pleasure are you taking life too intensely intensively or too seriously the time has come to call in the pleasures of life seek the light heartedness that you have and are Gemini because you're the third house the child let that inner child come out at this time you so let the inner child come out at this time focus on what would make you happy schedule schedule in activities you find pleasurable reuniting with family or friends go for it take your action and party you have the nine of pentacles and the ten of cups be careful you don't drink too much you are ready for this new beginning and all the happiness that is coming towards you I have really enjoyed doing this reading and I'm looking forward to the week I hope you are too and believe it the cards never lie you are the one that holds the key so see the good things in your life and stop seeing what you don't have or the bad things in your life learn from the past take care